Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam, uh, and I'm here today with my very first tea talk. Um, so as you can see, this is just going to be kind of a voiceover sort of discussion, casual, whatever. And in the background, you'll be seeing a speed paint. Um, today's speed paint is just a daily painting that I do. Um, and it's kind of relevant to our topic today. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, just a brief note on the speed paint. I kind of go in not knowing exactly what I'm going to do every time. Um, I'll usually pull up a few references uh, or inspiration um, for things like color or maybe mood, atmosphere, pose, expression, whatever. And I'll pull up about maybe three to ten pictures and I'll kind of grab one thing from one picture another thing from another and that's kind of how I do my little portrait things. Um, I will be releasing some other more like illustrative type of um, work I hope for speed paints um, and yeah so it's not all gonna be portraits and stuff I know it's my comfort zone I'm kind of easing out of it um, Especially the more, like, stress I have with, um, like, say, com commission work or personal stuff, I like to kind of recede back into my, the work that I find most comfortable for me. And this week I'm having a little bit of anxiety because uh, I've committed with um, one of my, um, like, Twitter art friends to do a environment study every day for the next week. Um, so, yeah, I'm having a little bit of, like, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous over that. Um, so I'm kind of retreating back into myself and <laughs> wanting to do what I'm comfortable with and to brace myself for doing something that I am totally uncomfortable doing, which is why I'm doing it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so basically um, what I had done is I tweeted about um, basically, like, what do you guys want to hear when I do these voiceover things? Um, I kind of briefly explained the formatting and everything like that, um, just saying, yeah, I'll basically be talking about things, art things, art subjects. Um, as you can tell, I'm extremely well-spoken, um, <laughs> so all of this is just totally scripted and totally rehearsed. Joking, not at all. Um, I have written down a few notes um, in my phone of things that I must mention because I'm so forgetful, so very forgetful. <laughs> so I hopefully won't forget anything. I do have kind of like, um, just little bullet points on topics I want to kind of discuss in these. But anyway, um, someone on Twitter had responded and said, and I'm not going to say their name. I don't know if they want me to say their name. Um, but yeah, uh, so they said, I've told you before that I admire your worth work ethic slash constant arting <laughs> and you told me it wasn't always that way I'd love to hear more on that so it's true it's true I'm not like um not to toot my own horn here uh definitely not to do that um but some people do approach me like they'll message me or they'll reply to a piece and be like oh my god you know like you post work so frequently you seem to be always working on something um or they know that I, I paint every day which I do um and they're like how do you even like how do you even how do you do the thing <laughs> how is that done and my response every now and then is it was not always that way which is very true um a year ago I was a completely I feel like I was just like a completely different person um a completely I had a completely different mindset and I can't say for sure what exactly changed that I don't know really um my I don't know if there was a definitive moment where I was like I'm just gonna completely change my work habits um but what was happening was I would um I was the type of person who would go months without even drawing because I got into such a funk and that has to 
do a lot with um, things like depression and anxiety, which have really affected me um, as a person and as an artist. And unfortunately, it um, does inhibit the way that you function. And basically the way I operate is I'm constantly trying to tiptoe around those obstacles and figure out um, ways to get around them. And you know what, I'm sure that a lot of you who are listening have your own kind of similar things, whether it's mental health related or it's um, other types of challenges uh, that you face. So you're definitely not alone in that. Um, despite the fact that I think we don't talk about these things as much, I think it's these are harder topics to um, come out with. But with these um, with these tea talks, I really want to be honest with you and be upfront with you and I think that you guys deserve to hear that and I think I kind of um owe it to people to be as much of myself as I possibly can be when I'm doing these as authentic as I can be obviously that's kind of hard it's hard to come you know to present yourself in the exact way that you are outside of all of this social media stuff or outside of the YouTube stuff or whatever but I will make an effort to be as completely honest as I can, at the risk of making myself even a little bit uh, <laughs> uncomfortable. And I'm not going to get too far into those topics today. I would like to, um, in the future, maybe they'll just kind of come up and seep into my videos because, again, that's such a major part of my life and how I function or don't function <laughs> in certain circumstances. But yeah, as I was starting to say, I would go months without drawing and um, because of those difficulties that I just mentioned. And then at the same time, I'm on Tumblr or Instagram or um, DeviantArt, wherever, um, seeing all these creators who are pushing out content every week or every day, right? You're seeing them do their daily sketches. And I've always had the feeling where um, I was always under the impression that this is just like, this is just how these, these people are like in the same way that when I was growing up, I was not necessarily social and, you know, I was not like, um, I didn't find it easy to relate to absolutely every person, but you'd see, you know, there's always that one person in your class or in school or, you know, in life who's just like, it's so easy for them. It's so effortless. Um, yeah, we just go under that assumption and we're like, well, some people are, are just made to do it. Other people, there's no hope in the world. And I happen to be one of those people. Um, and then you'd look at those people and like, I never want to be resentful of other artists, but like when you're so low and you're, it's been two months and you haven't created a single thing that you're satisfied with or you're happy with, or, you know, you haven't been creating at all because um, of that stuff. And you're looking at all of these other artists and you're like, it's not going to happen for me. I wish I could be that way. I'm never going to be that way. And at a certain point, and I think this honestly was a conscious decision. Um, I don't think it's, I had to consciously, like I had to say to myself, not, I wish I could do that or I wish I could paint. Okay. I wish I could paint every day. It would be, I'm going to paint every day. So you have to turn that wish into like, um, I will do it. Um, and I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more in other videos. Um, but that's, I think, the main thing with motivation. And there is this sort of myth of inspiration, um, which, again, I'm not going to get too far into. But, you know, some days, like, I, the only thing I want to do is paint. Like, I just, I went to, um, like, an art show or art exhibit or something. Um past year I've, I see like I've seen the Turner show for example um and I come home and I'm like man I want to paint I want to paint and like yes you do have those moments yes they're so amazing and oh everything feels so effortless and organic and it's beautiful and it's like we all chase that moment <laughs> like we're all just chasing that dragon you know um but they don't always come the reality is the types of artists who make it their career where they have to get up and they have to put in you know x amount of hours they can't wait for that you know and there was also the realization that hey like we're all human beings we're not all like um 
you know, going at 100 miles an hour um, every single day. Some days we don't want to do anything at all. Again, with the depression thing, some days you don't even want to get out of bed. It's very hard to even do that. So how do you navigate around that? How do you um, eliminate your reliance on how inspired, quote unquote, inspired you're feeling? Um, and so what I decided to do was paint every day. That's my goal. It's a small goal. Um, I guess it could seem very large at the time, but I'm going to paint every day. And how was I going to do that? Um, for some people, maybe you're going to have to work up to it. Um, my little thing was I'm going to put in 30 minutes every day. Um, and so that's what I committed to. Um, if it's really bad for you, if it's really like you're dealing with art block um, or something like that, whatever. It's just extremely hard to even fathom the idea of putting in 30 minutes. It's unbearable for whatever reason. Um, set smaller goals. Basically break, um, and a lot of people talk about this with art or with whatever, but it's very helpful. It's so helpful. So sometimes what I'll do if I can't even imagine myself painting for 30 minutes is Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my t tablet's plugged in. I'm going to turn on my little lamp on my workspace because when I turn my lamp on, it's like, it kind of signifies in my mind that like, okay, I'm going to be working right now. Like I have my backlight, all of my inspiration because I uh, put up pictures, um, like prints and stuff like that that I've acquired or posters that I've acquired of various kind of pieces of art or whatever um, behind my workspace. So they're all lit up so I'm looking at other art right in front of me as I'm preparing to work uh you know so small goal is make sure your tablet's plugged in another thing okay turn on the light or get whatever you know set the mood it's a very art is so intimate <laughs> like you know sometimes you just gotta romance yourself in order to get into it oh I promise you I'm gonna keep these pg don't worry if you're like a parent who happens to stumble across this because I don't know. I don't, just imagine like young kids. Anyway, this will stay PG. But point being, you have to set the mood, uh, the ambiance. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, another thing is, okay, I got to open up my program, create a new canvas. Oh my God, you have a blank canvas in front of you. That's another thing. Um, or search for references or inspiration. Um that's helpful kind of sim like in order to simulate or stimulate that part of your brain where it's like you're feeling inspired so you see an inspiring piece of art um and the biggest thing I think though with committing to doing the 30 minutes um was I'm going to make this a conscious effort to make this a part of my routine. So rain or shine for 30 minutes a day, I need to sit down and I need to paint. Now I can be painting traditionally uh, because I do do that. If I'm like so burnt out on digital stuff, I'll do traditional. And like that's how I escape that, um, <laughs> that kind of cycle um, or painting digitally, which is what I do 95% of the time. So, um, but making it like the whole, the biggest thing, and it was like, you would think it's so, um, self evident or so, so obvious, I guess I should say, you would think it's so obvious, like that this is just going to be a part of my routine. Like if you're committing to a goal like this, it's going to be a part of my routine. What was not so obvious though, and you would think it would be. And sometimes you have to go the long way around in order to come to a conclusion that it feels like everyone else has come to. But for me, that was, I'm going to make this so routine and so um, essential in my daily um, life that it needs to be the equivalent of me getting up putting on clothes, brushing my teeth, doing stuff like that. Um, so that was kind of the biggest thing is like, it's not an option to not do it. Sorry. It's not an option. Like do you have to get up? You have to brush your teeth. Those aren't options. You have to eat. That's not an option. You have to sleep. Like it's not an option not to do that. Like, so that's kind of where that came from. And that was, I think the biggest thing that's once I figured that out, it was just like smooth sailing from there. And I, I guess I shouldn't say smooth sailing. It's not smooth sailing. Um, but that kind of helped me, 
set me on my way. But another thing is surrounding yourself with inspiration um, and with, like, say, um, you can do it with online stuff or you can do it physically. So as I mentioned earlier, I have posters and stuff like that around my workspace, like uh, prints that I've gotten at the gallery or I went to an antique um, went antique shopping and I got all of these um, etching prints or I went to a convention so I have one from an artist there um, or I got these little um, long time ago I got these like vintage kind of posters of Phantom of the Opera and the Hunchback of Notre Dame and like the art on them is beautiful so I just surround myself with beautiful things and like I'll keep every now and then I'll post new postcards and stuff that I acquire just to mix things up and so physically, like in my workspace, I'm surrounded by things that inspire me and kind of um, jolt that whatever. Um, but I also go on Tumblr. I have Pinterest. I have Instagram and Twitter where I'm following other artists or I'm following um, people who post like work from other artists. Um, and so you're constantly taking that in. I have like such a thing for art history and like I have an obsession with um like the Baroque <laughs> uh 18th century 17th and 18th century uh fashion for example so a lot of those prints are from that I have such a thing for uh turn of the century illustration um I have such a thing for I don't know modern fashion even that kind of alludes to those periods like you know things that just inspire me they're so stimulating they like get me wanting to paint and create and they really get those ideas in so that's another huge thing is being inspired and keeping yourself inspired and constantly like emulating and simulating stimulating oh god all these words um that feeling of making yourself inspired but regardless of whether or not you're inspired it's going to be a lot easier if you feel like you kind of are versus not Regardless, as I mentioned, it's the same thing as waking up and putting on clothes and, you know, brushing your teeth or eating, sleeping. So regardless of whether or not I'm inspired um, or I feel like doing it, it's just not an option not to. It just it makes it easier to do if I feel um, like I have a, a point to jump off, a jumping off point is what I mean. Um, and the other thing is making yourself accountable or um, having, yeah. Uh, making yourself accountable by, for example, and I know it's a brave step, and I know it's hard to do, especially when you're first getting out the gate and you're a new artist, you haven't really drawn anything before, maybe you think your work sucks, maybe you've been drawing all your life and you still think your art sucks because there's, like, masters that are online, um, but post your work online, um, and I'm not going to think any less of someone who doesn't want to do that if they don't feel ready to do that. Maybe they're just not even interested in doing it. But for myself, I thought it was huge, um, to do that because I would get feedback from other people. It was very encouraging. Um, there's something very, like, addicting and satisfying and, like, I'm sure there's a whole, like, psychology behind it, uh, with getting likes and stuff like that. It's kind of like a little tiny reward system. That's another thing you can consider implementing is like little reward systems. Like if I do this, if I paint for 30 minutes, like I'll eat a piece of chocolate. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'll allow myself to do this. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So geez, what was I just saying? Ooh, let's see, this is totally scripted, completely, completely scripted. Um, yeah, post your work online, though, because those likes are very addicting. Um, and don't get discouraged, especially, like, if you've been posting your stuff, no one's responding. Like, don't get discouraged by that. I get it. Um, it sucks, but everyone starts somewhere. And don't make it all about the likes or about the numbers, but if it makes you feel a bit more accountable, like, it's... Oh, I get, like, pained like pains when I don't post work to Instagram frequently because I'm like <laughs> my public awaits <laughs> like my people need me especially when people are like oh I look forward to seeing your stuff I'm like no, I feel like I have to I have to um <laughs> so that's good and the other thing is community and um talking to other artists now I have a hard time I don't really talk to art people in like in real life I don't really know a lot of art people 
um, in real life. And that's kind of a goal for myself as well. However, there is online. And say you are like a little fuzzy ball of anxiety like I am. <laughs> um, online is so much easier. And in terms of like social media, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. I found that it's harder to get to know people on platforms like Tumblr and Instagram. Maybe that's just me. I feel like it's not... Um, I didn't find it as easy to approach people on there. I don't think that the actual interface or the um, the way it's structured is really... It's not perfect for that, and I think it's kind of hard to do it there. Um, so when I discovered Twitter, or I guess I should say rediscovered Twitter, because I did make an account, and then I stopped using it, and then I think I went to a convention or something, and people, everyone was tweeting, so I'm like, oh, we should figure out what these people are up to, and we can meet up, whatever, right? Uh, so then I kind of went on Twitter, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, there are other artists here? I had no idea that there was, like, a community of artists on Twitter, because I assumed, like, the way that Twitter was explained to me was... Um, yeah, you can just, like, follow celebrities and see everything they're doing. And I'm like, I don't care what celebrities are doing. <laughs> like, what? So that's how it was explained to me. That and people, like, tweeting mundane things like, going shopping. Oh, my God, found a cute skirt at the mall. Oh, rudest employee at uh, HMV ever. Uh, emoji, whatever. So that's kind of how I thought Twitter was. And you know what? To a certain extent it is. But... It there are so many freaking creative people on there and amazing people and friendly people and not so friendly people also, but who cares about those people? They're completely irrelevant. Um, anyway, so follow other artists. Um, and it makes you feel so motivated when you're seeing like other artists posting frequently. Cause you're like, yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm going to do that. Oh, they posted today already. Damn. Like I'm a little bit behind them and it's not competitive necessarily. It's like motivating and, um, especially like I started following people who are so interested in self-improvement and were interested in helping other people and like kind of not just doing the journey on their own. Um, there are a lot of Twitter accounts which are very like self-serving and they don't really care about what anyone else says, but there's a lot of people on there who are just so interested in the community and, you know, if someone asks them a question, they'll respond or they'll ask other people questions. They're very interested in their the people they follow and their own followers, whatever. So look out for those people. Um, and if there's like a couple of not so nice people on there, don't worry. It happens, but surround yourself. And this is like in life, surround yourself with people who encourage you to be a better person and who motivate you and who are supportive of you. Now they don't need to be like kissing your butt the whole time. Cause there is that also. Um, but people who, you know, are supportive, offer feedback when you ask for things and whatever. Um, don't expect that the the artist who has, you know, 80,000 followers or some crazy number is going to respond to everything you say or is going to follow you back because, you know, um, they don't always see that. And it's kind of, when you have that many followers, I'm sure you're, they're getting a lot of notifications. It's hard to reply to anything. Um, and don't discount other artists who don't have a lot of followers. Um, you know, if you like their work and you think they seem like a cool person and they're nice and whatever, follow them. Um, and maybe they'll follow you back, you know, interact with them. Don't follow people for the sake of them following you back. Don't expect anything from people. Um, like, uh, oh, if I comment on this thing, then they're going to follow me. Um... And, or if I draw a picture for them because they're so famous, like they're a famous person or whatever, then they're going to share it. And then I'm going to get so many new followers and so many likes on this. Like, don't do not do that. I don't know. It's it's so transparent. It's so easy to see. And you're going to chase people away like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then I guess my last point is this. Uh, even though I have committed to doing 30 minutes of painting every day, there are days where I can't, don't want to get out of bed or I'm burnt out on commission work and uh, life things and I'm stressed out and I'm dealing with other stuff and it just doesn't work for me that day. Things are just not going my way or maybe I'm just busy. Like I'm over at someone, you know, um, I'm out of the house, whatever. Um, 
for the whole day or I'm not going to be back that evening or I just don't have enough time. Um, forgive yourself for those days. You know, um, it might be 11 p.m. and you haven't done anything and you're getting ready to go to bed and you're feeling guilt. Don't feel guilty, okay? Like, you're going to feel... You're going to feel guilty anyway, but forgive yourself for those days. And um, I guess what I mean to say is just be kind to yourself. You know what I mean? Um, so, Nita, I could go further into detail with this stuff. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, but I'm going to end it, I think, on right there. Uh, I think I've said everything I need to say. This video is quite long. I understand if you haven't listened to all of it. Um, dogs barking in the background. What can you do? Um, anyway, comment below, though, and let me know how, where you're at with all of that stuff. Um, have you unlocked the mystery to being able to paint every day and continuously keeping yourself inspired? Uh, do you have a different method of thinking about things? Is it the same where are you struggling with that? Um, where are you at with it? And secondly, please, please, please let me know what kind of um, videos like these um, tea talks <laughs> you'd like to uh, listen to in the future because I'd be very, very interested. Um, and this is all for you guys and for sharing my experiences. And like, I just want to help you guys out. Maybe there's something that I say that might resonate with one or two people. Um, maybe it just so happens to be when you hear this, it might be the exact right time you needed to hear it or whatever. And that's pretty much the only reason why I want to do these. Um, I'm planning different types of content as well. However, I think these are going to be a regular thing. Um, so long as I don't run out of things to talk about, which I highly doubt I will um, uh, suggest things. I don't know. Uh, I'll have different types of content, which I think you guys will find quite helpful, if not quite interesting, if not quite helpful. Um, but yeah, let me know, because I'd be very interested. I have a list of things, and I'm every day I kind of think of a new tiny little thing that I want to talk about and mention. Um, I've alluded to a few of these thing, those things in this video, but this video is way too long anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, the speed paint as well. Um, please share... Uh, this video with someone who you think maybe might want to hear it. Um, I like likes. <laughs> I definitely love subscribers and I love, love, love comments. So please do. And I will leave you with one more thing, which is be kind to yourself and never stop creating. Bye.